Hey, just the news the when it's true, just play in hell. So if you happen to be... Okay, quick and precise. Breaking news. The XC backdoor is one of the most carefully planned attacks I've ever seen at that scale. This piece of software is used in almost all Linux distributions like Debian, OpenSUSE and Kali. This exploit is already accepted as one of the most well-executed supply chain attacks of all time. In my personal opinion, close after lock for shell which was a nightmare for us at that time. Trust me. Being on call in December 21 was a sheer nightmare. The difference between the current XC CVE and Lock for Shell though is that the XC exploit is limited to a few versions of that software and even unstable ones. But on the other side, the XC project is so widely used across open source software that this makes the CVE once again extremely risky. The exploit was actually discovered by accident by Andres Freundtech, who would stumble over it while testing some databases on Linux distributions. The recommendation is that if you are using bleeding edge versions of the Linux distributions, you should upgrade as soon as possible. Good thing that almost everyone in tech has technical debt here and is constantly dangling on all the versions procrastinating to upgrade their VMs because, well, that's not fun. How does the exploit work? XC is a utility maintained by only one contributor, which is widely used across open source software for compressing and decompressing data streams. The XC CLI is installed by default on most Linux distributions, almost all of them. Inside this library, there's the secure shell daemon or SSHD that is widely used. I mean, it's almost everywhere. And here's some dude, a group or an organization we don't know for sure. Place the backdoor which modifies the package contents and enables the attacker to modify and interact with this library installed on your machine to execute code from it. Now the common approach to test this backdoor would be to mock attacks and interact with this backdoor at that point, like testing any piece of software unit. And here comes the hardest part. The backdoor only allows interactions that are signed with the private key of the attacker, which makes it almost impossible for other entities to interact with it and discover its behavior. How did Andres discover this? When testing the SSH library, he found that the SSH logins would use an unusual amount of CPU while logging in. And he maybe thought that this was only a performance issue which could be improved in that case. When he checked in detail, the threat level midnight 10.0 CVE was discovered. And one might think, okay, obviously this is the one maintainer of the library who placed it, right? Well, we can't say for sure. The malicious packages were signed by another person who was a trusted contributor in the past. One thing is clear here. The attack was a long game plan to build trust and infect a system that is widely used across the industry. It could be one person, be some group or organization, or even a rogue state that has planned this all along. Maybe we'll never find out. Go watch Fireship's video on this. He explains it in such great detail that I want to give up to find a suitable comparison for this. Good job, Fireship.